All right, this is Ryan Hunt. I am going to Photoshop tutorial. I'm going to attempt to uh, make like a supernatural type uh, photo like you see online where people claim they took pictures of ghosts and like reflective in windows or TVs or whatever uh, just because it's easy. To show how uh, how easy you can fool somebody, I guess, if it all turns out right. Uh, I found... I went to Apple Movie Trailers and I was watching the trailer for Zombie Land. As you can see, it's just a regular trailer. So that's that. I decided to take this uh, big, scary-looking, vomiting fellow from right about there, and I am going to go up to Edit in the uh, Apple Player uh, and hit Copy. I'll minimize that window. Maybe. There you go. I'm going to go into Photoshop and open a new document. Uh, I'm just going to leave it at what it is. It doesn't really matter. I'm just going to throw this guy in there. So I go back to Edit and Paste. And there he is. Now from here I'm going to go to my Quick Select tool. And I'm going to get the groceries out of the way. Nothing major. You don't have to be too detailed about it, I guess. Just going to run this thing around and don't get any of him in there. Not too difficult. Alright. So that's that. Then I'm going to go to select inverse. So it's just the, that hot looking fella right there. And I'm going to go to layer mask. That was it. So there he is. All layer masked out. Now I'm going to choose a photo. I picked a photo of my daughter, my middle child, sweet Ellie, in the minivan. Yes, in my minivan. I've got a lot of kids. I drive a minivan. So I'm going to pick her because it's a big open window. Um, less space. It's reflective surface, like I said earlier. And uh, you can blend them into the trees a little bit. And, uh, you know, kind of make it kind of like a nonchalant little situation. So anyway, from here I go to Window, and I go to Arrange Float All in Windows. Bam, bam. That's that. I am going to go to my Move tool from here, and I'm going to grab a hold of this guy, and I'm going to drop him right here. And there he is. From here I'm going to Control T, Transform tool, and I am going to make it bigger and wider and I'm going to rotate him so he sits uh, right on top of this bright streak outside the window just because I want him to blend in with the trees and I think you'd notice his shirt stripes too much if I put him down that low you know what actually I'm going to right click and I'm going to flip him horizontal also so he's kind of leaning in instead of out of the picture Rotate him again, and I think that's working. All right, so now I go back over and hit the Move tool again. They ask me to apply it. Yes, I'm going to apply it. Um, from here, I'm going to hit Control U to adjust the shirt colors. I want to make them a little bit more uh, earth tone, so he blends in with the color in the back a little bit more uh, camouflage, basically. So I'm going to go to my cyans, I think. I'm going to try that one first for a shirt. Just this to... I want to go a little brown. A little brown and green, kind of, if I can. Well, I got the brown. Now I will adjust the blues. If I can get that out of there. Right there. Green and brown. Okay. So I hit OK. Then from here I go up to the opacity on that layer and I'm just going to turn it down until he blends in with the trees a little bit. So that way, you know, just like the, the ghost photos that you see on TV or online, people are like, you know, I didn't notice it at first, but when I took a look back I found this large vomiting man in the window looking like he was going to eat my child. So that's that. That's my entire tutorial on how to make a uh, gross family guy hang out in the window looking like a ghost. He's going to eat my dog. Hope you enjoyed it. Thank you, thank you.